you're an old basketball coach. Let's talk about basketball a little bit. Let's start talking about, first off, the state tournament. 18 years ago, LeBron James set massive attendance records at the Schottenstein Center when the Schottenstein Center was still relatively new, so there's still some novelty there. And that has raised a, maybe an artificial level of what the attendance should be at the boys basketball state tournament. Because every year we're hearing, well, attendance is down, attendance is down, as you alluded to. You guys did change up the format to try and help that out a little bit. Is that part of the message as well, saying LeBron's not coming through this door again? We have got to come to reality. Um, you know, I get a lot of suggestions, obviously. Uh, build or buy the uh, Holiday Inn mm -hmm. uh, that used to be across from St. John Arena. That's not an option for us. I can't do that. We can't do that. Two, move it back to St. John Arena. And that, that's there all the time. That has not been a possibility. Yeah. I mean, it, trust me, I, would, I'm, I can tell you where I sat for so many of those <laughs> games. It just has not been an option for us because Ohio State owns it. And when Ohio State says you cannot use it, and here's the reasons why, you kind of believe it. Well, and, and certainly Ohio State has their own tortured past with how they're going to use St. John Arena going forward, which is a whole other topic of discussion. It, it is totally a whole topic of discussion. But, but given that, we do have to come to reality that attendance at almost, you take out the Ohio States and the Michigans and the Big Ten schools, look at the MAC. I mean, look at mm -hmm. the Mid-American Conference. I mean, I, you know, the Buffalo game with, with uh, Bowling Green and so on and so forth. I mean, but even there sometimes, some of those other games are not well attended today. Blame it on television, blame it on social, blame it on anything. It's just a reality that there's more to do today. And we've got to come to grips with that. And part of our me uh, method of uh, going to a different format for the boys tournament was to save cost a little bit and also give people a bit more value to see two games for the price of one ticket. And certainly when you talk high school basketball, I know you get a lot of feedback on social media on this topic, the shot clock. It's something that some fans think will save the sport. Other fans will tell you it's not going to make a difference. You're kind of caught in the middle of how we move forward on this issue. You know, I love to address it, you know, because, you know, as an old coach myself, I often say it doesn't matter what I think. And I do think a certain way on it. I don't, I personally, personally do not think it will do anything for the game. I could be wrong. Um, I remember when the three-point line came in, mm -hmm. you know, I think it's a little different thing. You look at statistically where most of the game, most of the shots are taken within a, whether it's 40 or 45 seconds, um, you know, there are so many turnovers in a game now and it's really needs to revert back to fundamentals and I don't know if that would help. Take out all my opinions. It doesn't matter. Right now, it's a national federation rule, or better yet, it's a lack of a rule. Mm -hmm. It does not permit its use. Well, I often get, and, and by the way, our constitution, member school driven, yeah. member school approved, member school agreed upon, our constitution and bylaws require us to play by national federation rules. So even if I was 100% in favor of doing it, Jerry Snodgrass could not uh, put that in place uh, in the state of Ohio. People will ask me, why do nine states choose to use it then? How does that work? Their states do not have to follow the National Federation rules. I think that's dangerous. That would be the same as me to say, okay, we'll, we'll move the three-point line out to 21 feet or 22 feet, you know, whatever. I think that's dangerous to do that. The game needs to be consistent from state to state to state. But I'd also say this, basketball in Ohio is pretty good. And when you look at maybe a Minnesota or someplace like, no knock on Minnesota, but I question whether Minnesota high school basketball is as good as Ohio's basketball. So I don't think we need to do that to keep up with the Joneses.